Jay's had the funniest. I told I made him do it on stage, but he's like, can you imagine if like you were like your husband was like an innocent bystander there, and you're like so shocked about it, and then you're like, wait, where was he? <laughs> he, was, he was doing what? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, there's some people that got to lie about where they were that yeah. day. And they were in the thick of it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Nah, yeah. some dudes were getting beat off that yeah. day. And the cops got a question them. They're like, I'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> or the wife is mourning her husband. I can't believe it. And then like, this motherfucker, what? Oh, you're talking about the the, the family. Yeah, died. your dad. Imagine that's your dad. Oh, nah, like you my dad. Oh my god. You go, I Wait, had to what? run in. I heard him. I was gonna save him. <laughs> I was gonna save the yeah, day. I tried to stop it. Oh my lord. Yeah. You gotta act. I was trying to jump in front of the bullet. Yeah. You yeah. gotta. You gotta build a whole hero story to to cover the fact that you were getting beat <laughs> off. Yeah, it's your only hope. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But actually, I was talking to Ben about this, about like how incel, about how like, he's related. Oh, sorry. sexlessness yeah, 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 yeah. makes you so pissed and angry and stuff. Yeah. But if that's true, you would expect it would be the people in the culture that are like most commonly sexless, that are not getting any sex, that would be the most angry. You know what I mean? Like, so like statistically, it's like, yeah, that's what we're saying. They're shooting up. Yeah. But it's like, like Asian dudes that like are like rejected by women at a high rate because they're not seen as like sexually desirable. Sometimes Maybe they don't have the expectation. Sometimes Indian dudes are, are Maybe, low on the pole. But there's would, never Indian terrorism. But I would say that that's, that's a function of the community that you're within. So if you're a white dude and you see all your friends out here getting pussy, you go on Instagram, you see these white dudes doing this cool shit getting pussy and the expectation is you should be getting all this pussy and you're not getting anything, then mm -hmm. there that resentment comes, right? But if in your community, like Akash, I don't know if you felt like an outlier within your community or you were like, no, nah, this is kind of like down with the values we're supposed to uphold. Yeah, you a lot of my, most weird. of my friends were fucking in like college, but it wasn't like crazy that I wasn't. Right. Yeah. Because, so it's like, you're not that abnormal. To my white mm. friends, I was a fucking mutant. To my black friends, I was like, actually the Southern Christian ones got it. But outside of that, they were like, what the fuck is this uh, thing? That's funny uh, that they low-key looked up to it a little bit. They were like, nah, <laughs> that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But even the white ones were just like, I'm Christian, but you're gay. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one going to hell, yeah. buddy. I know, I know God said that <laughs> shit. Yeah. He said a lot. Of shit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Like, so I guess you need the community to make you feel comfortable with that decision. Yeah, but if it's not a decision, like, like if you're just trying to like fuck white chicks and they're like, nah, I don't want that. Yeah, like you, I would expect them to be the most angry. Like, yeah, you would expect it if they, if they're judging themselves completely outside of the Asian community. Right, you know what I mean. But because, even and I think like, that I'm trying to wrap my like form this fully. But like the women you're trying to have sex with. Are they openly trying, like, down to have sex or not? Like, Indian girls, Asian girls, you don't know culturally to be down to fuck and, like, be out there or whatever. Right, but if white you're girls, fuck sorority chicks. If you're a white dude yeah. who wants to fuck white girls, you're looking at the white girls, and they're not, like, usually super conservative and pretending they don't fuck anybody. Mm -hmm. So you're like, yo, you're having sex with all these people, but not me. Indian guys not looking at Indian girls like, you're having sex with all these dudes and not me. No, but why aren't Indian dudes trying to fuck white girls and then going, they are. oh, why aren't, they don't want to fuck me? And, I think like, that I, there might be a societal, like... You just, that's what we perceive as happening throughout society. So I'm not the freak. Yeah. They're just not uh, having sex with Indian dudes. It's not me that's the freak. Mm. Indian dudes are just undesirable and that sucks. And I could be frustrated about that, but it's I'm not, not about only me. One. Yeah. Uh, it's not you have me. A cover. That's my, right. that's what I'm fearing. Right white now. dudes kill yeah. themselves in Norway. Like, you know, like it's the happiest country in the world. So why they have the high suicide rate. And then people are saying, well, imagine everybody was happy around you and you're depressed. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's funny. Like that's yeah. gotta be horrible. But mm. if everybody's depressed around you and you're depressed, you're like, oh, this is normal. Yeah. Right. It's, Whereas if you're a white dude keeps on getting rejected, you're like, she's banging other white dudes. Yeah. She's banging other tall guys. I'm, I'm supposed whatever. to be desirable. Yeah. Every yeah. white dude's out here getting dick ex or pussy except me. Mm -hmm. Right, right, You right. feel like just such a loser. Yeah, uh, that actually makes sense. Yeah, so I think it has to do a lot with the community. But yeah, Ben was, I was asking him about the Asian the hate thing. He said something interesting. He was like, um, he goes, uh, Asians don't, he's half Asian. He's half Japanese and half white. Uh, have normal and uh, he said <laughs> that uh, <laughs> nah, nah. he said uh, he's like here's the thing with us is like we don't get seen as fully American and I'm sure you probably experienced yeah. this too yeah and like like he his relatives like his grandfather and grandmother were in the internment camps yeah. you know so like this is like from that. his lineage yeah. but and his dad was born in America but the, three generations were born yeah 
in America, right? So mm-hmm. his grandpa, his great grandpa, born in America. So this motherfucker's American. He's more American than me. A hundred percent. You're not any. Right? Like you weren't born here. Welcome, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So uh so so he was saying we don't get looked at as American. We still get looked at as other. And then he said that a lot of this uh he goes, D- ask yourself, he goes, Does anybody hate Asians? And I go, Dude, I don't know anybody that hates Asians. Right. But he goes, he goes, I don't, he goes, I don't think people hate Asians. I just think people actually don't think about us because we don't operate on like the extremes of society. Like there's no Asian Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. There's no Asian, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of like a huge, you know, CEO or something that we'd be familiar yeah, with. Yeah, some famous musician or whatever. Exactly. Like. Yo-Yo Ma is the most famous Asian yeah. musician Steve that you Aoki? probably think. I don't even know if he plays an instrument. You no know, Asian <laughs> Elon <laughs> Musk. No, people. no Asian Michael Jordan. Right, yeah. exactly. He's like, he's like, if you think of the most famous Asian person that you know, go. Who do you think it is? Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Everyone yeah, said. Like maybe yeah. Jeremy, Lin, Jeremy Lin, Lin, Andrew Lin, Yang, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And even that is kind of like kind of rare, right? Yeah. So what what Asians have done is, uh, he said something interesting. So it's easy, kind of, to hate them or see them as other as a reflection of like nationalism, almost in a way. Like, mm. it's easy to go, oh, you guys are responsible for, for the coronavirus or whatever that is, because even though they're American, they're not seen as American right. by Americans. Like, weirdly, when it comes to like the, the, the racial component, is nobody's comparing who's gotten it worse. Obviously, black people have gotten worse here than anybody. But America, and Akash made this point to me a long time ago, he goes, America is kind of black and white. Like, yeah. black people are American and white people are American, and then everybody else is kind of... You just got to like pick a side. Like people tell me, I don't, you act black, you act white. Okay. How do I act Indian in America? Yeah. What do I do? Yeah. They yeah. have no reference. I swear. The only thing I knew to do, part of why I was pre-med, I was like, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Part right. of it. Al, you, you're shaking your head. I just, I would just give a little pushback. It's like, it's black and white, but then there is a portion of white that say, think it's just white. Oh, it's supposed to just be Well, that's white. the thing. Yeah. Supposed to, it's supposed uh, to just yeah, yeah, yeah. be white. Let me, but, let me, let me clarify that. Um, there is a black American way to be, and there is a white American way to be. Identity-wise, there's a black identity in America, whether you want to choose it or not. White identity in America, whether you want to choose it or and not. And most of us are a, a kind of combination of both. Like, you and I are both influenced by, like, white and black culture, right? And yeah. you're skewed more black, and I skew w- w- more white. But we both have these influences yeah, yeah. from these other cultures, right? You and I are not influenced by Asians or Indians yeah. at all. Or at least you don't think you are. At least we yeah, at least we don't think we are. Like in no maybe maybe I am. Uh-huh. And maybe Akash is like rubbed off of me in ways. But you if, if you this and I were like part. talking yeah. and we like did some random Indian shit, we'd be like, Bro, why did you just do that? Like Indians, good point, good point. I, I think, and Asians are gonna be influenced by the white and black cultural yeah. impulses yeah. that they're gonna Because yeah, we don't have an identity here. There is no and like you're newer, dude. Like yeah. we, it'll take time and yeah. it'll happen, but right yeah. now yeah. there is no identity. There and, is and, no and furthermore to Uyeda's point is Asians haven't assumed the positions of influence that black and white people have. Yeah. So white people, let's say, go towards like business and politics, which does influence culture. Uh, black people go towards entertainment, right? Which influences culture, you could argue, even more. So these things are permeating American culture yeah. globally. Whereas Asians, and you can include Indians in this as well, we're like, we're going to go for law we're going to be lawyers doctors dentists we're going to be successful we're going to sacrifice the crazy dreams the rolling the dice yep. risking 100%. it all being a fucking yep. basketball player musician or something like or comedian right for something that is secure and safe i think for our parents the crazy dream happened yeah yeah yeah. their basketball career their nba nfl yeah. they made it to america but that was a crazy dream yeah so it's like yeah just play it safe and then to your point to add on to it then you don't get if you're not in those things yes. it's easy to be like oh Seen they're not honor. american cuz i don't see asians at all until recently like in movies in basketball so black people that's a, you hating black people you hate michael jordan he said something he goes enjoy up. that he goes he goes in a way we made a deal with the devil and i go what are you talking about he goes no i'm not upset about this this is great like we make more money than white people right right like we have a higher uh, like per house income than white families. Right. We're killing it here. But that comes at the cost of feeling part of the fabric of society. Mm. He goes, I think that's why a lot of Asians end up being police police officers. I go, what do you mean? He goes, they just kind of want to feel like they're part of this thing. Hmm. Uh, 
And I think that's probably why you see a lot of black people join the military. Maybe why a lot of Asians join the military as well. I think there's other reasons as well. But like when you fight for the country, you can't take away the Americanness. Right. You know what I mean? You see a lot of Latinos join the military as yeah. well. Yeah. And maybe that's part of like, hey, I'm in on this shit. Yeah. You're not going to tell me I'm not American when I got this fucking outfit on. Yeah. You know? And it was just a really cool observation. Like they got all this success in America without integrating into like the cultural influence and fabric of it. Yeah. And because of that. They're kind of invisible. They're invisible. Yeah. And because they're invisible, it seems as if it's easier to, for lack of a better word, hate Asians. It's just a little bit easier to they feel treat more foreign. Them as different. They feel foreign. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And we talked about it a little, and this is why he pointed out like Asian female fetishization. Uh -huh. Like it's way easier to fetishize Asian women because. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, according Give to him. Me a while, actually. <laughs> It was he, like shrimp. <laughs> Took a second, you yeah. know? He was saying that Tinder released, like, data, and they said that Asian women were swiped on the most. Mm. Like, above, like, yeah. white women above anything. And yeah. so he was like... Asian women, white men. Yeah. And so he said the reason is, like, they, uh, like, it, there's, like, that invisibility and, like, he called it kind of, like, dehumanization. Yeah. But, like, it's not in a hateful way. It's just, like, oh, it's difficult to necessarily associate because I don't see you represented anywhere. Yeah. So, therefore, I can see you as doll-like and, like, uh, sexual in that way. Yeah. Remove you from your humanity. Yeah. He said, and there's the thing, he's like, listen, we went for the bag, right? And he goes, and I, we had this conversation. There's, like, so many outside influences in terms of what you can or can't do and what you're supposed to do and, like, cultural influences. But, like... He basically was like, we tried to secure the bag, and now we got to try to secure some sort of cultural influence. Mm -hmm. And he goes, and black people secured cultural influence. Now they got to go secure the bag. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's like they're yeah. opposite sides of the spectrum. Now, th this is so complicated. Is it to chalk it up to like black people going, we're going to take over entertainment? It, it was more like, <laughs> oh, they won't let us do anything? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's, law, there's laws against us? Exa being exactly. So in like, business? He, yeah. he recognized that. He's not saying that. But in a way, these outside sources that push people and push these two groups of people in different directions, mm -hmm. They've kind of now you guys kind of have to flip, yeah, in a weird way, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, listen. There's many groups that can be upset about the shooting at the massage parlors. Asians obviously feeling targeted their lives right now. I think black people got to be pissed off about this because for years people have been telling black people, "Yo, uh, it's your culture that's bad. Why don't you just go?" Be successful, go to school, you know, uh, mm. get get good jobs. Don't commit crime. Why don't you not commit crime? Mm. Why don't you don't do all these bad things? You're doing all these bad things, and that's why you keep ending up in jail. That's why you're getting shot for no reason, because you're doing all these bad things. And then you look at these Asians in the salon that start their own business. They go to school. They do all yeah. the things that, cons that these, like, crazy alt-right conservative motherfuckers say black people should do, and then they get shot up for no reason. Yeah. So the point is, motherfuckers get shot up for no reason. It's yeah. not because your education rates are lower. What it is, is that when you get looked at in a dehumanized way, it's easier to fucking shoot somebody. Yeah, one yeah. thing I was seeing, there was like uh, two groups of, let's just say minorities that were for protect Asians, like let's stop the hate against Asians. And then the other group is like, well, what about us? We get you know, we have more violence acts happening to us. So it's like, it was like one group is like, yo, we should stand for everybody. And the other group is like, nah, we're bigger victims. So like, why are we paying attention to them when we're Look, still the biggest victim? Yeah. And like, I saw that, but I like the pushback of the people who were just like, no, 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 we got to stand with it. That part I is interesting. Yeah. Go, yeah. go, go. No, I, just like seeing like certain black people's response to yeah. like the parlor thing. Because there's certain black people, like probably the majority that I've seen on like Twitter and stuff being like stop Asian hate, the whole yeah. hashtag, whatever. But then there is a subset that like you were saying, like that aren't on with it because of either like feeling like the bigger victim or some other like complex reason. I don't know. But it is interesting seeing how that shifts and especially for white people to see that and be like, because I think oftentimes white people will group like racial groups into just their like monolithic paradigm of mm -hmm. like, this is what they are. Like black mm -hmm. people aren't racist. They can't be racist. Asian people can't be racist, blah, blah. And then they see black people being like prejudiced towards Asian people yep. on Twitter and being like, oh, well, you came to New York and ruined it, blah, blah, blah. And it's interesting for white people being like, oh, wait, this is not 
all one cohesive group that all believes the same thing. Mm -hmm. And if for them, I don't know, it's interesting to see the shift. Yeah, it's tricky, man. It, it is also tricky just because of like the relationship between black people and Asians. And it hasn't been a very friendly one throughout like the American experiment, mm -hmm. at least growing up for me. Like yeah. I saw a lot of racism towards my black friends from the Asian community. Yeah. Right. And I'm not talking about the Asians I went to school with, but I'm talking about like if we were in Chinatown, we're going into like the Asian bodegas or whatever like that. It was always a little bit, Mm -hmm. You know, be followed around and shit. And we would steal from them. So maybe <laughs> that was reasonable. But <laughs> for right reason, you yeah. know. But, but uh, you got treated fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's where it's fucked up. Um but uh but yeah, but so it's it is a weird thing where like I don't know, I guess as black people, you guys gotta make a decision like do you put that aside and ride for them and then hope that they also ride for you in the future? Be